and welcome back to a new video. Um, I hope you're all well and had a great April. Um, today is Saturday and I actually haven't filmed a video on a Saturday yet, I don't think. Um, I just nipped out to B&M this morning because I needed to pick up a few bits and oh my gosh, look at this. It's like bigger than my head. It's a new sippy cup because I had a Star Wars one and everyone in my family was like, taking the mick out of me so I thought this was a bit more me and it was like 3 99 and I love it plastic like hard plastic reusable straw so um great for like lip gloss days I'm so happy with it so I'm really excited put this down here actually um because today's video I'm gonna be doing a April favourite so it's the 2nd of May today, 2nd of May, when you watch this it will be the 6th because I'm popping this up on Wednesday, um, so it's the beginning of May anyway and obviously we're still in lockdown but I wanted to just show some of the things I've been enjoying whilst I've been at home, um, so let's get started, there's quite a few like makeup and beauty bits in this, uh, which I was quite surprised at because I didn't think I'd have that many like new things to talk about um, because I haven't been out shopping. Anything I have bought, I've like bought off Amazon or something. But I've managed to actually pick up quite a few pieces. Um, also, excuse the state of my hair. As I said, I've been out. I've not really like done much with it since I've got back. But it's kind of ugh, it's in that horrible stage where it's growing and it's really needs a cut um, I'm literally gonna go so short when I go back to the hairdressers because I just don't know what to do with it it's really stressing me out um so yeah the hair just ignore it's not having a great time with it at the moment now the um first products I want to talk about are the fox tan I've got fox tan accelerate rapid mist and the fox tan rapid Miss, this isn't the accelerator one. Um, now I don't know if any of you can like tell. I've got quite a bit of like colour on my chest and um, like all over my body now, really. And that's because last week we had no, the week before we had a massive heat wave in the UK, and honestly, it was gorgeous. Um, and I thought I'd give these a try, I'd heard really great things about them um, and it really, really helps you get a fast tan, especially in the UK, like I never got that much colour in the UK before. Um, be aware, it's not a sun protectant, so it doesn't work, you know, to help protect your skin, you would need an SPF as well as that. Obviously I'm really careful with my face. Um, I had makeup on it, I think, anyway. So my makeup contains SPF. My moisturiser is SPF 18, like my daily moisturiser. So I'm really careful with my face anyway. But just be aware, but it is so good. You can feel it working and it smells insane. It smells of coconuts, really moisturising. Like, I just loved it because it just made me feel like I was on holiday. It's so good. And um, it was... I think buy one get the other half price on Superdrug. I got really fast delivery as well. So I'm definitely going to be buying this like if I go away. Obviously probably not this year but like next year. Or any anywhere else like when there's sun in the UK. You don't always think oh I'll get my shorts on. Because the likelihood you're going to get colour and it last is like second like low anyway. But yeah these are quite a game changer for getting a bit bronze in the UK I think definitely getting these again so um, as I'm seeing my daily moisturizer I've nearly finished this this is the nip and fab um, no needle fix moisturizer and um, I actually got this in TK Maxx and it like oh, smells gorgeous it smells really like sparry like so clean and you know like you're having a facial it's that kind of moisturizer i really really like this um it's good because it acts as a really good primer I use this morning and night as well it says 
A supercharged day cream that targets fine lines and wrinkles to soften the appearance whilst bringing moisture to the skin and protection against daily sun exposure. And this also includes hyaluronic acid to keep, keep skin hydrated, um, which is brilliant because with all the like washing and cleaning and showering, you know, our skin's quite dry anyway at the moment. And because we're spending a lot more time indoors, my skin... <sighs> It's just not got that same zhuzh about it. Like, it's fine, but this helps keep it hydrated. Really do like this. Um, I also team this with the, if you don't know about this by now, guys, Ordinary, um, Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This, again, is really good for hydration, you know, really helps to tighten your skin hyaluronic acid it's got so many so many benefits um under here it says a hydration support formula that's literally its main purpose for your skin is to lock in that moisture um yeah just a few drops a day i don't use it every day because i don't want to overload my skin with acid um you know i'm only young so i don't need to but i really i do really like it, it just sinks in really fast as well which I like I don't like serums to literally like stay on my skin unless I'm going to sleep but I don't really like it when things layer and sit on top they have to literally be ready to sink in let the let the next thing come so and plus the, the ordering is so cheap so cheap amazing um another skincare oh that's knocking my new bougie cup over with my foot. Is these. Um, these are quite a new find for me. These are the Nivea Cleansing Wipes for dry skin. I haven't really got dry skin, but they were the only ones in the shop. And I just thought, I'll try them out because I like Nivea. I like the smell of Nivea. Um, if everyone remembers that, like, blue... Was it a body butter or, like, a body cream? It was a blue tin, and you opened it. It was, like, so thick. But it literally just smelled amazing, and that is the Nivea smell. These are the same. But what I like about these is, obviously, I do wear quite a lot of eyeshadow and um, mascara. Now I'm not wearing eyelash extensions. So, day to day, I've got quite a lot um, to take off around my eyes. And I was using the Garnier Oil Infused Micellar Water, but that irritates my eyes. I don't know why. I don't know if it's too much oil in the product or if it's, like, too perfumed. But it was stinging. I was like, but you don't want. I've never been a real cleanser sort of girl. I'm a bit too lazy with my skincare for that. Like, I'm really low maintenance. Um, so I do cleanse, but I like to take my makeup off with um, a makeup wipe first. I like a bit more of a double cleanse in that respect. But these are great, they don't irritate my eyes whatsoever. Um, I put them in like my drawer, like my skincare drawer upside down so the moisture sinks to the like the top. Um, yeah, no alcohol, mild and gentle, leaves skin soft and smooth, removes even waterproof makeup and it does. It's really gentle but it does get every little bit off. Um, it's not the most moisturising so you know you do have to cleanse after especially if you've got like a lot of base makeup on because it doesn't always take it all off, but eye makeup is fab. I really like these, and they're super cheap. I got mine in, like, Home Bargains or something. Yeah, it was Home Bargains, actually. Um, and as I said, I went to B&M this morning, and they had them there. Um, and it's in, like, a really big bag. So, I do like these. I think I'll be sticking to them for a while, because they just smell, and smell beautiful, and are gentle, so win-win. Um... Okay, so that's it for skincare. Now I'm going to go on to a few hair products um, and then like makeup products. So for hair, if you've seen my newest pompadour tutorial, I was using this bedhead, oh, the light, my ring lights, like bedhead TG. This is the small talk and it is brilliant, really good for volume, gives your hair a really good lift, especially at the roots. It isn't it's a thicker fire, it says. Thicker fire and volumizer. But it doesn't weigh down your hair. It's really great and smells again amazing. 
like I'm, I love anything that smells beautiful and this is great. Um, another new bee is the L'Oreal Stylista Pixie Cream Wax. I'd not seen these before. I didn't know that they had a range for like pixie hair. So I was like, ooh. And I'm thinking actually, I don't know if you can see. Um, I quite like this girl's haircut on the front. Is that going to show? Oh, there we go. Got a really cool crop. I love it. Might be the new look I go for after this craziness is over. Um, it's just sort of like a thin, sort of thinner than a putty wax. Um, and I use it just to sort of separate the layers on my fringe and just zhuzhing up my hair. I really, really like this actually. Um, it's not greasy. A little bit goes a long way and again it's very very lightweight you don't need a lot and um, just to give you a little bit more definition and a little bit more separation and layers I really like this it's great Um, I might pop this in one of my hair tutorials just to see how it works but I just kind of put it in the ends you know to keep keep everything like separate you can see see all the sort of layers in my hair I really like it now another hair care product i actually stole this from my mom <laughs> this is the asda brunette dry shampoo um i actually had a no hair wash day last week because i was up at half five to help my dad on the farm and i was like oh normally i shower first thing and do my hair and i was a bit worried that it was going to be unworkable and just look a mess all day um but I borrowed this from my mum and because she likes to sort of, she colours her hair so she always finds that um, dry shampoos and stuff have to be coloured really because otherwise they just show any roots or they just look different. Um, and this was great. It really gave my hair some more life. It came out brunette. You couldn't see I had anything in my hair. Um, it lasted quite well all day. My hair didn't go greasy, which it normally would, especially if I was like running my hands through it, you know, getting all stressed and hot. Um, and yeah, I bet this is super cheap. Obviously, I didn't buy it. <laughs> um, but I'll check these do still have it, but I was really impressed with this. And this is just their, their own brand, just the brunette one. Yeah, it's great. Okie dokie. Now, I've got it in this little pouch because I needed something to put them all in. But I've been doing my hair in like a quiff style recently. And I got my Denman rollers off Amazon. So I keep them in here, but I'll just show you a couple. I've got the medium, they're just thermo rollers and small. So you can see there's quite a, a big difference. Um, so these ones are good for like putting in these layers of my hair and these ones are good for like putting these layers in and they are so good, they're so cheap and they're brilliant, like you don't need anything, you don't need a grip or anything with your hair, like these are brill and they've got large ones, they've got all different ones, Denman is a great brand for like brushes and hair tools. You probably do them on like Sally's as well if you're in the UK, but I really like these. I'm so impressed. They were on Prime as well, so they came next day. So they are fab. Next, um, I've got two makeup favourites. So, Be Perfect Clientele. Oh my god, I was so excited to get my like little mitts on this, but just look. At those colours. How amazing is this palette? This is like every girl's soft glam heaven. I'm dying to try these greens out. Even like Jim, my other half, was going, I think you should use this one and this one together. It's like, oh yes, I think you're right. And um, this bundle came with a pigment and it's got like a green reflex in, so I think that would be a nice green smoky eye one day. But you could do like a real nice cool toned eye, you could do more of a pinky red, you know, burgundy, berry, burnt red eye, like that would be gorgeous, especially in winter. 
you could do like something really light, bridal inspired. This is just fantastic. I'm going to use this so much on my clients when I'm able to have them back. Um, but I've already dipped into it loads. Like I've got it on today. Oh, my lash is falling off. So on my lid, I've got bronzy, and then I've mixed, I've like, blended it out with peach out and dirty tan, and that is like the easiest brow smoky eye ever. It's just so easy, and they stay so well all day. Um by Makeup by Jar, amazing. I can't rave about this enough, and I think it's on sale at the moment, so get your hands on it if you've not already got it. Um, another favourite is my Stila Medium. This is the Shape and Shade Custom Contour Duo. It's a cream product. Um, but what I like to use this for is this shade. I just pat like that and I just pop it in the centre of my lip and it just really does create that pout and then you can use this shade like I use it to contour my nose cream contour um it's just really handy I re it melts into the skin it's such a beautiful formula um Stila isn't too expensive either I just really like this I think it's really good it was just one of those things I picked up um and I've used it not really as just a like a contour product. I've used it for like other things like that concealer, just a dab to nude like any lipstick. If it's a bit too pink, you can create more of a peachy tone with it. It's really, really good. It's really handy. And obviously it's got a little mirror in, so it's good if you're just traveling. Right, and then I'm gonna go on to a few of my uh, clothes clothes favourites. I've not done clothes before um, but there's a couple of things that I've been asked quite a few questions about. The first is this loungewear set I've got on at the moment. So I just want to show you three loungewear um, sets that I've got recently. They're all from Miss Pap and they were all in the sale. So this is like a peplum um, little top. And then these are the leggings that go with it. Ta -da. <laughs> um, it's so handy. It's so, like, look at the sleeves, aren't they gorgeous? Little peplum sleeves. Um, I just got like a little cami on underneath, but it's just so handy. It's so warm, so comfortable, fits like a dream. I think this is a small. I like between 8 and 10, um, so these are absolutely fabulous. I also got this set, so this is more of a, a v-neck and it's got this like tie waist, the sleeves are just like this and it's ribbed and then it just has the matching ribbed leggings. Um, let me see, I don't think it, this was either a small or a medium. I think it was a small actually but again from Miss Pat it's so so nice Um, really really impressed by this and I think this one that this one's a bit more flattering because with the waisted belt it's quite um like figure hugging figure hugging and like flattering and then I've also been living in this one this is a khaki green um ignore the hanger khaki green like box t-shirt this is like oversized but the sleeves don't come down too low so you don't have to worry about like wearing your best bra underneath you can just pop on a sports bra or like um seamless bra and then it comes with these trousers and these are so nice i love how it's got like a cuff um top and the drawstring and these are actually really really good for petite girls because they're quite cropped um and I just think it makes you look like you've made a little bit more of an effort than pajamas it's like that perfect in between when you want to like be comfy at home but you want to look like you have got changed <laughs> since the morning like since running out of bed um and you can like what I've been doing is like today I nipped out in this loungewear set but I just popped on like a gilet and some like really nice trainers um I think they were like Carve Carve Kurt Geiger Carvella trainers with it and just some hoops and I looked at like 
10 times more dressed up but then I can put my slippers on when I'm home and I'm still really comfy. Um, the same with this, like a nice denim jacket or even a leather jacket. I've been wearing like my black sliders with this. Um, fluffy, my silver fluffy sliders with this, <laughs> of course. Even when I'm out, my boyfriend's like, is that pyjamas? I'm like, no, <laughs> it's loungewear. Um, they're brilliant and they're so cheap from this pack. Like if you haven't tried their clothes, try them it was the first thing few things i'd ordered and i definitely definitely ordered them again right guys so that's it for my monthly favorites um so we just had a little bit of like makeup fashion skincare um hair as well if there's anything else you want to see or anything you want like me to let you know about i can do obviously everything is pretty affordable that i've mentioned as well so it should fit our budgets because obviously everyone's watching what they're spending a little bit more at the moment given like the circumstances so you know kept that in mind for everybody so let me know if you like this video give it a good thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already um it really helps support me and my channel and Let's me know that you want to keep seeing these videos. Um, so I hope you all have a lovely weekend, guys. Stay safe and stay home. Um, just want to give a big shout out to any key workers, NHS, farmers, frontline staff. We love you. Um, we're really, really grateful for you. So I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you.